Building a business involves a step-by-step -step journey that starts with an idea and progresses through various stages of planning, development and execution. Handholding young entrepreneurs at the student level is instrumental in fostering a generation of innovative thinkers and doers. SREC Spark Incubation Foundation is one such institution that provides support, mentorship and resources to make meaningful contributions to the economy and society. SREC Spark Incubation Foundation is a Section 8 company uh, which comes under uh, Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore. And uh, our trust is SNS and Charitable Trust. And uh, out of 17 uh, institutions, we are one among uh, them. And this incubation uh, center facilitates the young entrepreneurs who want to convert their idea into the final stage of product, go to an uh, journey of startup. We facilitate all the facilities in our incubation center. Uh, the incubation center uh, basically is uh, for the stakeholders which we have developed. Uh, the students uh, come with a basic, very basic idea. They don't know how to bring that idea into a product. So uh, incubation center uh, asks them to pitch in their idea, validate them uh, to the, uh, with a panel of members. And we see that whether that uh, product is viable for the market, which is needed for the market. And we will take that product if it is uh, going for the next stages. So we uh, give them a seed fund, we uh, uh, prolong them with the mentoring, networking sessions. So we give, make them to the next level. So the products which are out, uh, out of that idea, first the MVP model has been generated. After the MVP, multiple stages of grants is required for them to the go to the next stage. That is also being taken care uh, by the incubation center. We go with the three different models. One is the launch pad model, uh, where uh, the uh, students come with no idea how to go to the uh, startup journey, entrepreneurial journey. So we teach them from the basic level. The second is they have a product with them, go into the market, how uh, we teach them how to go into the market. Third is that already they have established, they need a rental basis. So that also has been provided uh, with the equity uh, based model. And basically here in the SREC Spark Incubation Foundation, we have 12 uh, incubators as of now. And uh, out of 12, uh, nearly six are women entrepreneurs. And in that uh, journey, we have uh, three different uh, portfolios. We are focusing on EV models. We are focusing on waste management. We are focusing on AI based models. So we are segregated this engineering solutions has been given in all these uh, three focus areas. In that uh, specifically to say that for AI domain, we have rbg.ai where they give uh, AI solutions for uh, many industries and uh, for the projects which has come from the industry, we have the exchange program also. We give them the tender and uh, ask them to complete the projects. So they, when they entered uh, into the incubation center, they were around four members. Now they have been expanded to a uh, 60 member team and uh, the stakeholders are getting benefited uh, by the recent trends in AI. Uh, that is the RBG AI. Our general approach is basically uh, uh, be, uh, getting the requirement from our client. Uh, from uh, the requirement, we try to see which is the best suitable idea that works. Uh, so, uh, the moment we have, let's say, a, a basic idea of what the solution would look like. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, one of our clients is BDO, uh, where we are extracting bills, uh, shipping bills uh, and giving them a JSON format. JSON is nothing but a key value pair uh, output that they can utilize in their system. Uh, and the bills that they have shared with us have a very complex uh, nested tables that is tables inside tables. Uh, so in order for us to give them the output in that particular format that they needed, uh, we had to uh, first implement uh, OCR based system uh, where OCR stands for optical character recognition. So we are recognizing text from the uh, image. Uh, that is then converted to a particular, uh, let's say, uh, uh, we are again, we are recognizing characters, then we are phrasing them into words, 
uh, once they are phrased into words, then we are uh, mapping them based on the requirement that the client has. One of the biggest challenges uh, was the complexity of these tables. So uh, generally, uh, we, uh, when we talk about tables, like let's say a simple bill, it would only have uh, uh, straight columns. Uh, and you know the column name and you know the values that are there. But in this case, uh, uh, each page will have multiple tables and there are different types of tables. So that makes the uh, extraction challenging. So that was one. And uh, another thing was that uh, they were expecting something, uh, some uh, certain level of accuracy from us. They wanted a 90 plus percent accuracy in terms of extraction. So that was another thing that we achieved where we were giving them 95 percent plus accuracy. Uh, apart from that, uh, another thing that uh, was an innovative idea from our end was a notification system uh, where for any kind of uh, say, uh, uh, if there was any issue in terms of extraction, our system would uh, tell them that okay, there, there's this particular section where you can look into, uh, there may be an extraction issue. So when it comes to the process, uh, we are uh, we or the client basically gets uh, these bills in the form of PDF files. Uh, these PDF files are then read uh, by our system. And uh, the thing is, these files or these bills, uh, they can go over hundreds of pages. So they are not uh, one pager or two pager bills. Uh, so the first part of it was optimizing uh, by you know either uh, uh, batch processing it that is processing them in uh, say sets of pages uh, in order to make that faster. Uh, plus uh, they would get multiple bills. So you, you can't keep putting a single bill at one time. So we have uh, we even came up with a idea where they can zip files in one particular folder and then they can provide it to the system. Uh, our system then uh, forms a particular queue where we are handling uh, say, we, uh, like let's say when you go to a mall you don't have one single counter, you have multiple counters. So in a similar fashion, we also imp implemented a system that uh, basically helps us create those kind of counters. Uh, and along with that, uh, we have the main AI module uh, that takes care of the extraction. There's a mapping module that maps it based on their needs. So uh, another uh, requirement that the client had is, uh, they want uh, to be able to change the names uh, of the final output uh, when they get it. So what uh, like one of the biggest uh, uh, challenge basically was uh, for us to ensure that we take the name that they give us. So, uh, so basically they are just uh, updating another Excel file um, where they can change the names according to their needs. We consume the Excel file and we give them the output in the exact format they think that they need it in. We are trying to uh, become a center of excellence for certain uh, colleges where we can uh, get the college also to help us out uh, in terms of uh, growth, uh, not, not only from let's say project perspective, but also in terms of resources. The second one uh, is the uh, Texo Solutions Private Limited. Uh, the, he was a faculty member and uh, mentored the students and uh, that product was really useful for the energy solutions, so renewable energy solutions. So that product uh, was chosen by uh, DST, Texas uh, Instruments, a hackathon was conducted in the IAM Bangalore and it was selected and uh, they incubated in IAM Bangalore for two years and funded for 25 lakhs. And uh, after completion of the project and it was a good product to the market, they came back, uh, back to the forum. The three uh, members joined together as the directors and they started the forum here. So we gave them the uh, seed fund and uh, all the mentorship was given through the SRAC and SRAC Spark. And finally, now they are into a multiple smart grid energy solutions uh, using the solar panels. They are a bit successful. 
uh, nowadays the energy demand is keep on increasing uh, due to industrialization lot of people are looking for an alternative energy resources so that is what the major cause our government has has been uh, taken a lot of steps for uh, bringing uh, renewable energy resources as an alternative source for that so we are a company uh, doing such a kind of source uh, for the society as well as for the people as an alternative energy resources So we have identified a solution called a uh, private power sales model. So everywhere people are uh, getting the power from the grid. Right now we are planning by installing our own power plants uh, in their roofs as well as in uh, ground mounted also. So we will be uh, providing the power for them as a private power sales. So they will be getting the power from our side as a private power. ourself will be the power producer and then the people will be the power user along with the government body we will be putting in tripodal agreement so by using the government uh, channel we will be uh, injecting the power to the grid and then the utility people will be using that power So innovation in the sense uh, we are right now focused on best technology battery energy storage system. So it is like a container based battery energy storage system. Normally in peak hours there will be more demand. So in normal in India 4 to 5 hours irradiance will be very high. Solar irradiance will be high. Remaining hours we are looking for an alternative energy source. So during that time our best technology will be a suitable one. So from the morning hours it will be getting charged. During the night time from the best the power will be injected to the people. Our USP is we are focusing on the converters, right? So we are having a module based converters. So that will boost up the solar power uh, out into an uh, 3x times. So we are using an uh, MPBT based uh, boost converter that will boost 24 volt into 120 volt. So it works on normal uh, MOSFET based uh, boost uh, conversion. So it will convert, it is a purely transformerless methodology. It will boost uh, getting the input from the solar panel. It will boost thrice the time. By using these boost uh, converters, we can reduce the number of panels. Say for example, our uh, uh, requirement is uh, 1 megawatt means, if we want to use some 10,000 panels means, we can reduce the number of panels by using our converters. We can achieve by using 7,000 panels itself. So this is, from this we can reduce the cost as well as efficiency can, be, can also be achieved higher while comparing with the existing panels. The Glanshop technology is one of the incubators of SREC Spark Incubation Foundation where uh, they convert the waste plastic bottles, uh, used plastic bottles into a 3D filament. Now the uh, Glanshop technology have three different uh, product models. The first one is the machinery. They do the complete machinery, sell the machinery in a, to any organization in corporate structure or till the lower restaurant level where the machinery can be used. The second model uh, is they convert that uh, plastic bottles into a 3D filament. That 3D filament can be utilized by the uh, industries or by any academia institution also where uh, it has been uh, nowadays commonly used for doing all the project models. The third is this 3D filament can be directly uh, connected to a uh, 3D uh, complete uh, machinery, a model machinery, where uh, printing, 3D printing uh, machinery, that 3D printing uh, will be giving us the gift articles, uh, models or uh, any uh, type of uh, prototype which you want to develop. All those things can be done directly connecting the machinery to the 3D printing machine. So these three models are being generated by the GlamStrap technology where they have patented it and they are uh, taking it forward. Uh, one of my friend uh, running an NGO, that NGO main aim is to clean some of uh, hill station. We, they are collecting uh, many water bottles, waste water bottles that waste, uh, uh, he said water bottle collecting is uh, simple but uh, it's uh, disposing is uh, very difficult to dispose. First scenario is that, second scenario is one of my students, they are uh, uh, producing a 3D model in uh, 10mm model, its cost is so high. 
uh, we creating these two scenarios we combining these two scenarios and create this model why can't we convert a waste water bottle into a 3d filaments that that is a uh, point we are uh, starting this uh, starter first company to produce a machine hybrid machine it's convert a waste water bottle into a 3d filament as well as 3d printing models now 3d filament making is a separate process 3d printing is a separate process we have a only one machine to uh, to solve these two problems we are just putting in a 3d waste plastic bottles it convert as a filament as well as a printing model it is a single machine most of the uh, students uh, at the students point of level it has a project level so they are uh, giving lot of innovation ideas but they don't know how to go into the market whether the entrepreneur journey will they be able to take whether they have the passion towards that all those things will be uh, kindled by the uh, incubation center and the innovation center in the campus so the incubation center will have a pre incubation center where the students will be pre incubated if they have a good idea so if that idea can be given as a seed fund to them to convert that to into minimum viable product so the students will know that they are capable of doing an innovation project so if the project is good and if they want to come to a, a journey of startup they move uh, we incubation center support them so uh, nowadays you know that uh, uh, than uh, going into an employment the job creators are more important so uh, according to our make in india and uh, all the schemes which has come so moving towards the goal objective of the country we take that uh, students into the next level of innovations idea to the product that can be done for the students These centers play a pivotal role in bridging the gap between academia and industry, fostering economic growth and creating a sustainable innovation ecosystem.